Recording in mono is, you know, plenty of fun. We've been doing it since the 19th century. But recording in stereo is way more fun. And what I have here are the Ceramonic NV5. This is actually a stereo matched pair. And I actually have it on the SRM500 stereo mounting bracket. It's for a, they make a completely different microphone pair for this. But I love putting the NV5s on here because they're two really great, bright sounding condenser cardioid microphones. Well, when we have them on this bracket, we have all kinds of possibilities. And, you know, when, you, when you're doing multi-channel recording, even for surround or 3D audio, there really aren't rules. And a lot of people want to make rules for you. But the only rule there really is, is this. Is your stereo or surround recording mono-compatible? In mono, does it have the same sound in terms of, is everything in the right place? Is it the same volume as it is in stereo or surround or all the above? And some versions of how you position two microphones for a stereo recording cause recordings to not be stereo or mono compatible. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here I've got a left and a right. And they're in stereo, you know, isolated. And they are right now pointing sort of off axis from my mouth. If I point them at my mouth, you'll notice that it gets much more monaural, much more mono sounding. If I spread them on this bracket far and then bring them in together, this is what we call XY. And it's an old school way of recreating how the brain deals with its ears and its skull. And it's always monocompatible as long as these little diaphragms are together and at roughly a 45 degree angle. That means I can go left, I can go right, and you really feel that separation when it happens. And if I were to put it into mono, you would still have left as loud as right. A way to do this that's not right, not good, no pun intended, not right, loosen this up, is to put these together a little bit closer and do the same thing like this. Now you've got, first of all, not a very good stereo image, but some phase issues because these microphones aren't doing that nice 45 degree uh, angle. You still have left, not quite as left as we had before, and right, not quite as right as we had before. And if you were to mono it, they wouldn't be the same volume. Now here's something that a lot of people do. They put it out as wide as they can and then make them 45 degrees out like this. Well, you get an interesting signal, but look what happens when I do this. You can see how amazingly wide that feels. And if I go to the right, it feels like, whoa, it's way over here, huge wideness. And when I get in the middle, it feels sort of roomy and weird. That's because there's a lot of phase cancellation going on. Boo, hiss, we don't want this. Even though it sounds amazingly wide, even if I just turn my head, listen to how amazing that sounds in stereo, but if you were to put this into mono, you would hear the mono going, whoa, 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 or worse, weird phasing kinds of things, as if you had a lav and a boom pole on at the same time. On this bracket is a little, several letters that say ORTF. And if we put these here, at the little ORTF markings, you can kind of see the little triangle things, even though it's blurred, and we do a 45, we get a lovely wide positioning. And even though it's not exactly XY, the phase cancellation is small enough where we still get a really lovely wide stereo field. And the mono, this middle, still feels and sounds good. And we get not 100% mono compatibility, but enough mono compatibility where we also don't lose too much of that stereo beauty. I mean, this is super nice, this kind of, you know, I mean, it's, it's really wide. And if you were to record ambiences or an event or audiences or anything else this way, you get a beautiful wide stereo field. And if someone were to listen to it on their iPhone, off a simple microphone, I mean, off a simple speaker on their micro, uh, iPhone, it would be just fine. And you get a really, really great sound. And this is with the NV5 microphones. You can do this with any kind of small diaphragm uh, condenser microphone. And as long as you position them correctly on either a bracket or even with microphone stands, you'll get the same effect. This is one of the smartest things that Ceramonic makes. It's called the Smart Mixer. <laughs> 
and it comes with this handle that's down here that you can hold. Your phone goes in here. It comes with this cold shoe mount that you can put on a camera if you want. But what's amazing about it is that your phone goes there. It connects a high quality audio to your phone if you want. It's so dope. Let me just show you though, in the world of stereo recording, it comes with these two cardioid condenser microphones, left and right. It also has, just so that you know, a mini XLR port on the side so that you can put you know other microphones in. And then of course this uh, gain preamp action and the ability to play back the audio through this from your phone if you'd like. And of course it has phantom power for the mini XLR. But what's great about this is these are these microphones are fixed in a place so that you have very little mono incompatibility. So you can turn these anywhere you'd like. In fact, I'm just going to turn this toward me just for a second here so you can kind of get the phase feeling of this in stereo. So here's me with these where, you know, you would put them at 45 degrees. Here's them directly straight on, completely mono compatible. You can turn them all the way to the side like this, and now it's still mono compatible. <laughs> turn them away if you want. Sounds silly. You have to get up the room. And then even make them narrow. But because the engineers of Ceremony position these mics in just the right way, all of these positions are perfectly mono compatible. The smart mixer is identical to the CA mixer. And if you don't want the phone mounting, that's okay. You can get the CA mixer and it's exactly the same thing just without the handle and the phone mount. But stereo miking, if you get the positions of the microphones correct, you can do all kinds of things and still keep your recordings mono compatible. Even if you're for yourself.